Hello everyone, I'm back. I'm just making a short little video to post the uh, next day. This one, I'm gonna be showing you how to render an image. Uh, I was asked by a friend how to render a Roblox character, so I'm about to show you real quick. What you're first gonna wanna do, if you don't already have your uh, character, you're gonna go to Roblox Studio real quick. You're gonna want to go to the um, load character plugin if you don't have it I'll leave it in the description you're gonna want to enter your avatar oh there we go that's me there we go there you go that's me just gonna do that real quick you're gonna go to your Explorer right click click export selection and then Name your uh, name your file. I'm gonna put this under Roblox because it's a Roblox item. There we go. And that's all we're gonna need for Roblox Studio. What you're gonna wanna do next is open up Blender Lightroom, which we will do right now. As you can see, here we are. Now you're gonna wanna go to File, Import, Wait from OBJ, and go look for your character. Here we go. That was quick and simple. What you're gonna want to do is, if it isn't here in the middle, zoom out a bunch. As you can see, there's a little yellow or orange dot right there. That's our guy. Boom. We're just gonna want to bring him there to the middle. Boom. This X right here. Boom. And that should be good. Just move him straight here to the middle. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I'm gonna just take it step by step. This is the camera right here. There's your character. You wanna uh, put them right here in this little box. If you wanna check how it looks, click this camera. You're gonna go to set active camera. There we go. You're gonna wanna go to view. Where's navigation, navigation, walk navigation, and then you can move the camera. E and Q, of course, to go up and down. You can go in and out with W and S. And this is pretty much all you need. Boom. It's that left click and it sets and then you just use your uh, scroll button to move it out. There we go. And what you're going to want to do next is just click render image and that's it. Um, I'm about to click it. I don't know if it's gonna lag, but I'm gonna mute myself and let it render. I'll speed it up if it takes a while, but there we go. Okay, the render just finished. You just wanna click image save and just save it to a folder we're just gonna call it um, one, 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 one. and we're gonna save that to our desktop so it just shows up right there we're gonna click save as and boom there you go you can click X your image is rendered and uh, they are wanting to make a pop figure like my last video but they didn't know how to render it I guess I didn't show it well but for the upper part, like I said in the other video, all you're gonna want to do is upscale you, bring it down a bit, and just set active camera. Let's see, view, navigation, and walk navigation. And you just wanna get you just wanna get this upper part of the body. Just like that. Boom. Now, if we click render again, I'll time lapse it if it takes too long, but you know, let's see. As you all can see, my computer froze. So, y'all get it. That's how you do a render. This last clip is uh, the finished. Uh, second render thanks for watching subscribe uh leave a like a comment i'll try to buy a new computer soon uh just a little broke type stuff
See ya.